Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. CK Too Much here, back at it again with Carl Drogo of the Dothraki. And we are with our wife, Daenerys Stormborn, who unfortunately has a brother, Viserys, who has been executed by me. But she's not pregnant, and she has not miscarried any babies. This is a very interesting start date, so if you choose the 8th of 10th moon, um, you basically are in a place where you are married to Daenerys and she's not pregnant. Unfortunately, you are wounded um, and Viserys is dead. So if you remember at this point in the show and the uh, and the books as well, I believe, this is when Khal Drogo decides, okay, I need to press my wife's claim for the Iron Throne. And that's what we're going to do. And so in this series, I am going to put my wife uh, Khaleesi Daenerys Stormborn Targaryen on the throne so that our children can succeed her as um, kings and queens. Uh, all right. So, um, actually, I did a test run of this series earlier and I got really far. And it's actually kind of a funny series, so I might post it as like a failed series, but I'm going to wait and see. Um, we'll see if anything repeats in this series, but. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're playing as Drogo here, and if we want to move beyond the Dothraki Sea, we need to become the greatest of calls. And to do that, we need to unify all of the Dothrakis, have 1,500 prestige, have, fifth, have 10 diplomacy, and uh, as I said, 1,500 prestige. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and auto-stop these plots, delegate honorary titles. Um, now... I can get the 10 diplomacy that I need with carousing. But I'm going to wait on that and do family focus because I need to make sure that I have lots of kids. And then after five years of conquering, getting prestige, getting territory, and having children, uh, I will continue. Hmm. That's a shame. So that doesn't really help us with our... Uh, fertility, the ambition of having a son, and I don't have the ambition to have an heir, I wonder why. So I'm going to go with um, fall in love, because, you know, as we know from the books uh, and the show, Khal Drogo is kind of a big softy. You know, he's he's a warrior, of course, he's a Dothraki, but he wants to be loved, and he wants to have a nice relationship with Daenerys, and at this point in the story, I think their relationship was at their strongest. Uh, okay. And then we have everyone on our council we just need a koalak can i invite one to court it seems like this is the only one that you cannot get to come to your court because a shaman is a shaman phonolak an intriguer a diplomat and a steward so that's pretty much it i guess i'll try with a shaman and see if that works oh she's pretty philly Oh, look at that. So she can become my... No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, good. So she can become my... Uh, my Koalak. Hopefully she can heal my... Uh, problems. Um, Alright, and we also have Jorah with us. I also want to get him married because it'll be nice to have some Westerosi uh, women in our court. Uh, let's get him married to a highborn... Maybe to Hiri. Uh, okay. And our regent will be someone we can trust. I'll go with Koholo. Uh, okay. So, um, last time I also made the mistake of spending all of my prestige on troops. This time I'm going to try to spend only gold on troops. Uh, okay, so let's take a look here. So I need to go ahead and start conquering these different people down here. Hmm. Oddly enough, everyone is just a little bit stronger than us, but we have allies. You know what? I'm going to wait a minute and see if I can build up my men for a little bit before I do anything. All of his men here? Yeah. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started and see if we get some movement here. And we have allies, yeah? Jomo? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe I'll just go straight for them then. So we have ally with West if a Quevron. Yeah, but they have a little bit more men than me. I don't let to go for it. Nomad invasion. They have no allies. We have lots of allies. Let's go. Come on. All right, so we got Jora. Oh, what's this? So, uh, okay, well, he's at war with one of my allies. Uh, I don't want to take the prestige hit, though. Okay. Well, uh, this will actually help me, I suppose, because if he takes them later on, once I get the rest of this, I can take them out too. <clears throat> Who am I missing? The commander. Ah, uh, yeah, auto assign my commanders as well. Did I click? Yeah. You're not, you're not delegating my titles. What's up with that? We get a master of blade who needs a position. We have a court tutor who needs a position. We have a, uh, oh, I need to get some more blood riders. I have a champion who needs a position. I like to give that to Jor. I need a law speaker. Ooh, actually, no. <laughs> well, let's get Essie. We need a master of horse. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and move in here. Hopefully we don't have any men coming up from the north, but we might. Ooh, let's see. Our ongoing struggle inside of Vice Lothar has brought out the best of our military strategies. Uh, I would like the money, but I don't really have much money going around and I don't wanna be limited. Uh, okay, I'll do it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get some more money down the line. I just don't want to be in a position where I'm, you know, unable to start a war. A brother in arms. Uh, where I'm unable to start a war because of... Ah, uh, what's this? Ah, okay. Our diplomat fucked up a little bit. Ooh, no, no, no. Okay, can we get out of there? No. All right. Well, I guess we are here to fight... Hopefully we can withstand them. Let's see. We don't have any men coming to help us. So that's not good, but maybe we'll be able to reroute against them. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Uh, we're putting up a pretty good fight, but I just don't think we have enough men. Ah, it was very close, very close. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Well, we got routed a little bit, but I'm hoping that, yeah, we got our allies coming up. I'm really surprised that we don't have that many men compared to everyone else. I mean, we're literally called the Dothraki, but literally everyone around us had more men. Okay. Hopefully they'll stay there for at least a little bit. Uh, actually, it looks like they're going, ah, they're going to race Tahin. That's where I am. Uh, okay, hopefully we can get our allies together. Okay, look at that. So they're going to get them. Hopefully they don't lose that battle. <clears throat> Looks like they definitely might. If it's just a numbers game. Oof, man. That is not good. Maybe I can push on to their capital and then just finish this thing. But they might get my capital first. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, they're Audi. Uh, well, I kind of want to keep her around. She's actually pretty good in my court. So I think I'm going to marry her to Ago. All right, this is not over yet. Definitely not over yet. All right, I think we're going to help them take them out. Get them out of the war. We'll go straight up north. Oof, hopefully we can keep them out of Reish Tahin. Oh good, I already have enough gold to continue the fight. Oh, okay, so we're going to enter the war here. And on our side. Oh no, 
Okay, so we got Brojo on our side uh, coming out against us too. This is a war on all sides. I just really hope no one takes out Reish Tahin. Oh no, how dare she? Daenerys getting rid of our babies? What's up with that? Okay, let's do the assault. Good, so that war is taken care of. I'm gonna go up north here and see if we can take them out too. Okay, come on, let's go. We gotta go. Um, the castle is impregnable. We will send my family into hiding. Let's do that. I really don't want them to get captured. Hopefully my guys will... Please, guys, please go to Reish Tahin. And I'm going to try to go up here. Hopefully be able to win this war. Ugh, come on, pause. Let's go, let's go. Uh, your wife is pregnant with your child. Uh, I would have loved to take her to base Dothrak, but we just don't have the money. Uh, at the meeting museum as door. Oh, she's still here. On the council was put under question. Uh, have her removed. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Yeah, she seems crazy to me. She will take leave for the pregnancy. Oh, God, this is really close. Oof. So they sacked our capital. It seems, though, that we're... Okay, we got our allies going down south, so hopefully they'll expel them, restore our capital, and... I have them taken care of too. <clears throat> so that's good. Not off to a great start, but could be worse. Uh, okay, I think if we defeat them in battle and take back our capital, we're pretty much good to go. Yeah. Although I'm hurting for prestige and I'm hurting for gold, so that's not good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so we're done. We're done with you. You can get lost. Your clan will be absorbed, and you will be exiled. Give me your money. Thank you very much. Okay, <clears throat> so then let's go ahead to go to Brozo. Mm. Already winning. I wonder, uh, I have a vague memory that if you take their territory so he's gonna surrender do I get to uh -huh. but I can attack them straight away yeah because I don't have a truce with them so nomad invasion but let's go <clears throat> and let me call my allies Ooh, so we've had a pretty rapid-fire start I guess that's just how it is on the Dothraki step <laughs> there's this war after war after war Alliance is constantly changing, and so on and so on. Uh, oh, okay. Nice. So their capital has already been taken. I wonder if he'll... Yes. Okay. Very good. So we'll go ahead and absorb his clan. Uh, where is the option? Absorb clan. Yep. Thank you. And you will also be exiled. So goodbye. Adios, senor. And he went on down to Hasharak. Okay, look at that. And we got some gold. Ooh, look at this. And we have our son. And I will name him Rego. So I really like the naming conventions um, of kind of mixing uh, kind of a Dothraki ending and the Valerian beginning to a, a name. So I'm going to keep doing that. So Rego, Ego, Viseni, uh, Rainy, Daenery, things like that. So we're going to go with Rego, have him assigned to his daddy, so he can learn to be a fierce warrior. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get a few more men. <clears throat> and let's meet up here. Okay, guys, so we're off to a pretty good start. Uh, our prestige is, is wanting, a bit wanting, but now that we've dealt with these guys, we're pretty much on track to, I think, overtake the step. So now we just have to move out here, take care of Motho, Zeko, and Rashquejo, 
And once we have all of them under our thumb, we will turn inward towards Jomo, our ally. Jiki is starting to fancy me. Ooh, that's very nice. But <clears throat> I'm not a lustful guy. Even though I am a Dothraki, I think at this point in the story, he's very loyal to, Dos to Daenerys, so I'm going to say it's not appropriate. But let's get her married to Kotho. Get her a nice husband. Okay. Mm, well, just stay there. We'll merge you together. Uh, okay. Alright, so let's head down here. Maybe actually I'll head down more this way. I want to make sure they're not raiding where they shouldn't be. So I think it costs like 40 or 50 gold to take your wife to Vice Dothrak, so I might want to make sure I have that much in the future. Also, Daenerys has her dragon egg, so let's hope that something actually comes of that. Well, let's take a look over in the Seven Kingdoms and see what we've got going on. So we've got Robert the Fat sitting on the throne. Uh, he is the guy, or possibly Joffrey, that we will eventually need to take out. We got Tywin the Old still sitting in the Westerlands. We've got Mace and Renly and Stannis, if I'm right, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so pretty much the status quo we have going on up here and still got Eddard. Eddard is fighting at Castle Black. Why is that? Ooh, Mance Raider is being <clears throat> getting his ass kicked by the old bear, by Jorah's father. Okay. So where are you going? To oh, he's just chilling. Okay. Well, then let's go down here. We have to get some of this taken care of. Maybe I'll go and raid in Marine. Hmm. Not sure, not sure. <clears throat> so let's go on down to, oh, it's turned into Ago. So I guess there's been a bit of a change up. Uh, who is, is he fighting someone? He is attacking Motho. Uh, so he's trying to merge with Motho, it looks like. Doesn't seem to be going that well for him. <clears throat> it's in 50, oh, but it's in 50% in favor of Ago. Okay. How many men does he have? Oh, 8,000. How does he have so many men? I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this series, it said that uh, Drogo had like 8,000 men or something like that. Well, what's he doing? He's attacking in Amber. Well, I think I'm going to go for it. Uh, fortune favors the bold. So let's go in for our nomad invasion of Ago. Uh, I'm going to call in my allies. And let's get going and hope for the best. Uh, okay, thank you, Jomo. Don't know what we'd do without you, my friend. Curious where Ago's men are, though. Ooh, fuck. Wow, they came out of nowhere. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> okay, so not off to the best start, but uh, we will regroup, hopefully, with the rest of our men. Man, they came out of nowhere. Okay, we just need to take this and that, and if we can avoid them... I was hoping I'd be able to snag this. Uh, oh, okay, so it looks like there's some drama going on. Okay, so Jaco is coming here. Even my vassals have more men than me. Is this because I'm wounded? But I have 22 Marshall. I don't understand how that happened. He is 16 and he is almost twice the man as me. Crazy. Okay, well, I think I have to take a pretty big prestige hit. Otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to get the men that I need. So, yeah, let's go ahead and send them down there. Or I guess down there. <clears throat> okay, you know, we got Ago leading our men down here, but we got our allies already, already moving in. Oh, looks like actually Ago's going to lose to Motho. Yep, because we got Colin Motho here. Oh no, 
but there's a fight going on there. Well, uh, okay, so let's send everyone over here to Rosh Rish Nomi. And uh, see if we can go ahead and take Vice Lathrivar. Oh no, get some factions. Some guys that want to depose me. Mm, why you want to go and do that, huh? You should be my advisor. Ooh, okay, that's why, because I don't have a good spy master. Let's give it to him. Uh, he seems to like me at least enough. So having a decent spy master who is a powerful vassal and likes me, that's a pretty good combo in my opinion. Okay, so now we're coming back a bit stronger than last time. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and take Ago, and then I'm going to finish this episode. And then in the next one we'll take out Motho and Zeko. Uh, oh, praise the Great Stallion. And then we will turn inward and take out Jomo. And from there we will work on becoming the greatest of calls. I keep wanting to call it the Call of Calls, like the Khan of Khans. Oh, very good, Jorah. Oh, look at that. So Jorah's had a little baby, Theomor. Theomor Mormont. Good. He will be the wife, I mean, sorry, the husband of any future daughters that I have. Uh, let's train him under Jorah. Should save that spot for any other sons that I might have. Okay, so we're already making good progress. Let's go ahead and get to his capital and see if we can take it. And maybe we can beat him up in the meantime. So I think Drogo's strength lies actually in his friends. <laughs> the greatest strength was friendship all along. So he doesn't have a lot of men at the beginning, but he has like the most vassals, it seems, because Jomo has two, they have two, these guys had two, and these guys had two. So I think we just have the most like clans under us which is not something that was really explored very much. I mean, I remember hearing about Kalpono and maybe even Kalmoro, but like it wasn't, it doesn't exist the same way that it exists in like the CK2 mm, system, I suppose. Okay, so adios. Do we have 100? Let's see, we might actually have to defeat them on the battlefield. 83. Ah, that's because we have to go back down here to Vas Athrivar. Ooh, okay. All right. Are you surrendering? Very good. They surrender very preemptively. So we will absorb your clan and you will be exiled. Or should I? I'll just execute him. Um, I'll break his back. Okay, very nice. Um, and I'll need to give out some land. Um, I think I'll give it out to these weaker guys. Um, what would be some good territory to give out? Everywhere. Pr okay, this one. Verikar. This is... Okay, I'll give it to him since he's my spy master. Uh, Verikar doesn't have many holdings, so it's not the most valuable piece of land. Um, okay. And where are you at? You are down here. Uh, let's see. This one just has two. Hmm. But so does this one. And this is also my... Koholo. Maybe I should reward him. Yeah. Oh, he's actually not that strong either. So I'll give him Vase Lacy. 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 Uh -huh. You know, uh, in Slavic languages, the word for forest is like... Las or sometimes Leshne. It's like an adjective, so I wonder if that comes from that word. That's my amateur linguistics opinion. 
All right, guys, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and send our men down here. And in the next episode, we're gonna see if we can take out Motho and Zeko. Uh, not much going on, I had a son. Hopefully Daenerys will be pregnant again soon. And I can take her to Vice Dothrak, but we will see. Uh, actually, you know what, now, you know, I didn't take that that kid to Vice Dothrak and he turned out fine. Uh, he hopefully will turn out fine. I'm going to try to hold on to my prestige for now, though, because I need to get as much as possible. And based on what I'm seeing, it looks like prestige is going to be hard to come by. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, I'm going to move on down here. We're going to try to take out Motho and Zeko, and yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.